It's a very small area, really, in terms of geography. But within that area, there's about 20,000 women. And there's these huge, what they call bungalows. And these are like big houses. You have floor by floor. Within those floors, you have little extra floors and eaves and hidden areas. You have trap doors going back and hidden little corridors. It's like they have the shell of this building and they've just crammed as many small rooms to one area as they could. And it is literally a rabbit warren inside. And it's dark, there's no lighting. The heat is so intense, the walls are literally slimy. And a lot of these buildings have been there uh, for over 100 years. I now know that I only penetrated just the surface when I first went. And now I've gone much deeper in, but I still haven't got to the core. It's impossible to get to the core. You'll go through one brothel and there'll be a cage door and then you can get inside to the reception area. Then there'll be another cage door where girls are held in cages. There's literally, I can't say how many layers there are, but you just keep going back and back. I can't go that far in. Even if a man was going to buy sex from a girl, from a brothel, they won't be taken into the core, into the heart. They'll be taken into the area where the reception area is and the girls are brought out. But when you go in a layer even more, and this is not is because I've seen it, but how the girls have described it, there's literally cages deep inside these brothels where the girls are held behind bars. They don't know if it's day or night. It's dark all the time. There's, sometimes they're held in darkness. Sometimes there's light bulbs. But some of the girls are held that they haven't seen daylight for two or three years. And they're literally only taken out of their cage to have sex with a man.